The first prototype of the Tejas Mark 1A, which is actually the intended mass production version of the Tejas, and the base for all others, has made its first flight in secrecy, according to Indian authorities. The Indian Ministry of Defense, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited carried out the test flight close to their manufacturing plant. The aircraft with serial production number SP-25 was first upgraded by HAL to Tejas Mark 1A level. Over the course of the next 30 months, the SP-25 will go through certification tests while serving as a test platform for the complete Mark 1A version production line. Following test results, Tejas Mark 1A deliveries will start in March 2024. In 2029, all 83 aircraft that the Indian Air Force has ordered are expected to be delivered. The most advanced Tejas Mark 1 model, which achieved full operational capability in 2020, is Tejas Mark 1A. It is outfitted with an external muting device, a self-defense system, a radar receiver warning, an Israeli Alta LM-2052 ESA radar, or an Indian Utam ESA radar. The MK-1A will weigh less than the MK-1 overall. The Astra-1 and Astra-2 Recite air-air missiles developed in India will be employed in the Mark 1A, which is one of the most significant upgrades made in comparison to the Mark 1. Derby Oversight air-air missiles can currently only be fired by MK-1 FOC model. India makes significant efforts to export Tejas aircraft. Egypt is anticipated to be India's biggest export client. Indian sources claim that India has proposed to Egypt the establishment of a factory in Egypt for the mass manufacture of Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, as well as DRUV and LCH helicopters. The Egyptian government is expected to soon visit HAL's facilities in accordance with this offer. At the Dubai Air Show in 2021, the Egyptian government made intentions to buy 70 Tejas MK-1A aircraft. In the Malaysian lift LCA tender, the Tejas is also in opposition to the Herjet Turkey, which was designed by Thai. India, which is giving Malaysia Tejas MK-1A aircraft, only gives Malaysia depot level support. Malaysia, however, demands that at least 30% of the materials used to build the 18 light attack aircraft come from Malaysia. Tejas is the leading contender for the Malaysian Air Force requirement contract. Tejas is being upgraded with new armaments, avionics, and missile systems, making it a more powerful player in the market. The other side India is in the process of developing its own 5.5 Amka fighter jet, which will also begin this year. Furthermore, HAL has stated that customers who purchase the Tejas Mark I will have the opportunity to participate in Amka aircraft contracts at significantly lower pricing and with full service support. What are your thoughts on the progress of Tejas Mark 1A? Please share your thoughts in the comments area.